السلام عليك زين الأنبياء السلام على بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه Alhamdulillah, we have reached the 19th juz tonight in Tarawih and we were just reciting Surah Al-Shu'ara. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala benefit us through his book, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I wanted to briefly look at a few verses in this very blessed surah that teaches us a little bit about the reality of Iman and how it is that we can attain it. Specifically, when the magicians who were actually magicians saw the miracle of Moses السلام, when he cast his staff and he turned into a serpent and then it ate what was they were that was actually their uh, magic they realized that this has nothing to do with magic and they realized that this was a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they immediately believed in him and so if you can imagine what is happening here you have all this spectacle taking place and you have Moses and you have a large group of magicians and a number of people watching on and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that says قَالَ لَهُمْ مُوسَىٰ أَلْقُمْ أَنْتُمْ مُلْقُونَ Moses said to them cast whatever you wish to cast فَأَلْقَوْ حِبَالَهُمْ وَعِسِيَّهُمْ وَقَالُوا بِعِزَّةِ فِرْعَوْنَ إِنَّا لَنَحْنُ الْغَارِبُونَ So they cast down their ropes and staff saying by Pharaoh's might it is we who will surely prevail فَأَلْقَى مُوسَىٰ عَصَاهُ Then Moses threw down his staff and keep in mind we already know before that Moses did this and saw that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had the power to do this. So this is something that he knew was possible, of course, as a prophet. And Allah ta'ala had given him that experience before to make him firm in this moment. So he throws down his staff and behold, فَإِذَا هِيَ تَلْقَفُوا مَا يَأْفِكُونَ And it devoured the objects of their illusion. And when the magicians saw this, what was their response? فَأُلْكِيَ السَّحَرَةُ سَاجِدِينَ the magicians fell down prostrating. So these were the best magicians of the Pharaoh. And when they saw this sign, they realized this was real. And likewise, you and I, in our everyday life, in the lives that we live, we have to be prepared to see the signs. And there are other people who, even were they to see the signs, they would still deny them. This also took place in front of the Pharaoh. And his response was very different. But these people, Allah wanted good for them. They didn't have the obstacles in their heart that prevented them from seeing the signs. And one of the greatest obstacles of all, oh, we are the Billah, we seek refuge in Allah, is the obstacle of arrogance. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will divert his signs from those who show arrogance in the earth without right. Pride blinds, arrogance blinds one from seeing the signs. These magicians, they knew with certainty, with the eye of certainty, they saw it right before their eyes. This cannot be false, this is true. فَأُلْكِيَ السَّحَرَةُ سَاجِدِينَ So the magicians fell down prostrating. And this is why it's common in prayers to say, Oh Allah, bless us with the Iman, like the Iman of the Sahra al Fir'aun, like the Iman of Pharaoh's magicians. People that were bumped up beyond ilm al yaqeen to ayn yaqeen immediately to the eye of certainty when they witnessed the miracle transpire right before them. And what was their response? Sajideen. They immediately prostrated. Qalu amanna bi rabbil alameen. And then this is the reality of faith. What does faith, what is faith ultimately is that you testify to that faith based upon what is in your heart. So the first thing was an action and then what followed was their declaration. We now believe, we, we believe in the Lord of the worlds. Rabbi Musa wa Harun, the Lord of Moses and Aaron. They didn't know all of the detailed beliefs but they realized these are people of truth. These are people that are on the right path. So we believe in their Lord, who's the Lord of everyone, in how they believe. 
And then look at the response of Pharaoh. Wa with Billah. Pharaoh threatened. Qala amantum lahu qabla an adhan lakum. How dare you believe in him before I give you permission? Billah. Look at the arrogance. Who are you challenging? The Lord of the worlds. They have to seek your permission to believe in Allah. Who created you? Who created them? La ilaha illallah. And then look what he says. Innahu la kabirukum alladhi allamukum as-sihr. It must be your master who taught you magic. فَلَا سَوْفَ تَعْلَمُونَ أَوْذِ بِلَهِ Arrogance on top of arrogance. You will soon see, i.e. what I'm going to do to you. لَوْ قَطِعَنَّ أَيْدِيَكُمْ وَأَرْجُلُكُمْ إِنْ خِلَافِ I will certainly cut off your hands and feet on opposite sides. وَلَا أُصَلِّ بَنَّكُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ Then crucify you all. Cut off an opposite leg and an opposite arm and then be crucified. Hung on the cross. لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا الله. And La ilaha illallah. Most of us in that situation would waffle. Most people in that situation would think twice about what it is that they just said, but not if you reach the level of faith as was mentioned here. What was their response? Qalu la dair. That would be no harm. Inna ila rabbina munqalibun. We will all return to our Lord. Surely to our Lord we will all return. Look at how quick this transpired. Within moments of seeing the miracle, prostration, declaration of faith, they're being threatened by one of the worst people in human history who will do what he's saying. And what is their response? This is not going to harm us. This is going to harm our physical bodies here outwardly in the world. But because of our iman and our faith, we recognize that we are returning to Allah. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon As we say, Allah says in the Qur'an Indeed we belong to Allah and to Him We will return They said here Inna ila rabbina munqalibun And then look at even beyond that How this could transpire in a heart so quickly Inna natma'un yaghfirna rabbuna khatayana And kunna awwal al-mu'mineen We really hope that our Lord will forgive our sins As we are the first to believe so Look at the meaning, the dhawq the experience of faith, when Iman touches the heart, it leads to experiences. It leads to tasting of its sweetness and experiencing the beauty of that faith. How did they know how to say this when they were previously in a state of kufr, of disbelief? They are saying words of people of ma'riyah, people of gnosis of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have tama, their desires that Allah forgive them, their sins. La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah And alhamdulillah They remained firm upon their faith And then Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala That says وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَىٰ أَنَسْرِ بِعِبَادِ إِنُّكُمْ وَاتَّبِعُونَ In the tafsir they said this transpired years later And we inspired Moses saying Leave with my servants at night For you will surely be pursued And for benefit I'm just going to quote the next few verses And then فَأَرْسَلَ فِرْعَوْنَ فِي الْمَدَائِنِ حَاشِرِينَ Then Pharaoh sent mobilizers to all cities. إِنَّ هَأُولَيْ لَشِرْذِيمَةٌ قَلِيلُونَ And said, these outcasts are just a handful of people. وَإِنَّ هُمْ لَنَا لَغَائِذُونَ Who have really enraged us. And who are you to be enraged, Pharaoh? Who are you to be enraged? وَإِنَّ لَجَمِيعٌ حَاذِرُونَ but we are all on the alert. So we lured the tyrants out of their gardens and springs. Treasures and splendid residences. So it was and we awarded it to all of the children of Israel. So they pursued them at sunrise. So you can imagine now at a later time Moses has fled the city. And he's with his followers. And he's being chased by the Pharaoh in his army and then when the groups came face to face they could both see each other they're face to face and what was the response the companions of Moses cried out we are overtaken for sure they've reached us they've reached us and look at the response of Iman Moses was present there and it was on his hands that that miracle took place. And then you saw the iman of the magicians who believed him. And look at the iman of Moses in this moment. Kalla. Qala kalla. He said, absolutely not. Inna ma'ya rabbi sayyadeen. Indeed, my Lord is with me. He will guide me. 
فأوحينا إلى موسى and then Allah تعالى that revealed to Moses أن أضرب يعصاك البحر strike the sea with your staff فن فلك فكان كل فرق كالطول العظيم and the sea was split each part was like a huge mountain what is the meaning that we take from this in times where we feel like our backs up against the wall we have nowhere else to turn there's no way to get out of a situation you can get out of any situation with iman no matter what situation you are in you can get out of that situation with iman in believing in allah and having taqwa of allah and he will provide for you in ways that you least expect and he will give you a makhraj he will give you a way out and he has the power to do so subhanahu wa ta'ala and it might not be in any way that you possibly expect but when we're in those positions let's be people of iman and let's rely upon allah and know that he will guide us and make a way for us but one of the things that we learn is that we have to be around the inheritors of the prophets so that we can see on their hands things that will strengthen our iman and that even if we ourselves aren't at that level where we're experiencing ayn al yaqeen we're so close by virtue of the people that we've been with those blessed inheritors it's almost as if we're there because we know what it is that they're experiencing and we believe in them and their piety. May Allah Ta'ala give us tawfiq and bless these meanings to be a reality within us and give us great openings. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.